Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Sean from RedSharing101.com And hey, today I want to talk to you a little bit about Uber Pool and kind of what's going on with it. Basically, kind of why most people don't, most experienced drivers don't, uh, don't drive Uber Pool. So basically, uh, for those of you who don't know, and there's some areas like uh, I believe Medford, Oregon, for instance, they haven't been around for that long. They don't, uh, they don't have Uber pool. So, uh, there are some places that, that don't know what it is. So, um, basically Uber pool is when more than one party shares your car for a ride. So basically when two different groups are going to roughly the same destination, they will they will share a car. Uh, you might pick up one person in one location, drive five blocks, pick up another person or party, and then you know drive them to their destination. And everybody's relatively uh, close to each other, and that's Uber Pool. In the old days, it would be sharing a cab, which is something kind of that happened uh, when it was raining, where you couldn't find one. You're like, hey, I'm going up to whatever. Or are you? going near there yeah okay and then you get in and you share the cab and back in those days you were paying cash so but anyway um currently you would take uber pool uh it's cheaper than uber x um because you're you're sharing the car with people and the really interesting thing is most people get in they don't even say hi you know they just they get in and barely acknowledge the other person so what i do is i always I always introduce everybody. I wait till the last person kind of gets in. Usually it'll max out at three people total. You could have one group of two and then another group of, of one person. And basically it's, you know, Uber only lets you go uh, one person per seatbelt. So you're never going to get, you know, uh, like six people in a standard Uber X car. So one person per seatbelt. And oh, today I've got, uh, I'm drinking water. I've got my water bottle that uh, Linda gave me. It's got the mister. It's kind of fun. It's cool. I like it. I'm going to take a sip of water. So, um, and basically, here's the deal with Uber Pool is you don't make as much money. And let's take an example. Let's say, and I'm just using some basic math. I'm not saying these rates are right, but it's just easier to explain. Let's say Uber charges a passenger $20 for a ride and gives the driver five bucks. Okay. Three of these rides, that would mean Uber takes in 60, pays the driver 15, makes a profit of 45. Let's say when doing a pool ride for basically the same distance, Uber would charge the passenger $16. Instead of making four, or instead of taking in 60, Uber is now taking in 48. Okay, here's the rub. But instead of paying the driver the standard amount, since the driver is already picking up one passenger and picking up the other two nearby, Let's say now Uber pays the driver $7. Okay. Now Uber's collecting 48 from the passengers, paying $7 to the driver, making a profit of $41. And some of you are saying, well, Sean, in the first example, Uber was taking in 60, paying the driver 15, so they're making $45 profit. This one, they're taking in 48, paying the driver seven, so they're making $41 profit. So, okay, they're, they're making a few bucks less. What's the big deal? Well, this, this is the big deal. Uber is maximizing your car and not paying you what it should. You're getting $7 for basically driving people around uh, where if um, they were paying three different cars, they'd be paying $15.
So you're losing out on a big chunk of money. But the big thing is Uber is paying you less. And in essence, they're collecting more because you're doing the job of three total drivers. So Uber is paying you less and it now has the additional two cars that it, it would normally have been using to make more money. That's that's the gravy for Uber. Instead of paying three drivers $15, they're now paying you $7. And they have two additional cars freed up that are taking additional fares. So basically it benefits Uber and not you. You know, yes, you're making $2 more than if you just taken one person. But you're making two additional stops. Uh, that's two additional headaches. People on uh, Uber pool never tip ever because they're cheap. Um, so this is, you know, the only reason to do Uber pool is if you're going for a like quest bonus. And some of you don't have quest bonus. So what quest bonus is, is ahead of time you can select from a different trip amounts and you get paid extra for that. So it might be if you take, let's say, 40 trips from Monday at 4 a.m. to Friday at 4 a.m., you get $20. It's, it's a really low amount. It's really insulting. But if you, you know, are at the end, it's getting close to Friday and you need a, some extra trips, then yes, do Uber Pool because they're they're quick. Rides on Uber Pool, different stops count towards Quest. So uh, if you take six people on an Uber Pool, you know, you pick up so many, you drop them off, you're picking up, you're dropping off. All those trips count towards Quest. Otherwise, there's really no reason to do pool because you don't make, you know, you're not making really any money. You're much better off waiting and doing Uber X. So that's just kind of like a, a real quick primer on Uber pool is basically Uber makes their money by putting more trips on you, freeing up other cars that they then use to make the bulk of their profit. So... It's, you know, Uber will talk about how, oh, we're putting more people in cars and we're getting, you know, more cars off the road. The people that are doing Uber pool don't have cars. They're cheap. You're subsidizing the rides because basically, you know, they're paying you less and Uber's making tons of profit because they're now putting other people in the cars that you freed up and they're pocketing all that money. So quick little primer. Don't do Uber pool unless you really, really can avoid it. All right, guys. It's Sean from Ride Sharing 101. Have a great day.